In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create beautiful bokeh in your commercials that looks like this. In Wisconsin, at the edge of the Driftless area, award-winning whiskey is made, handcrafted, small batch bourbon, using naturally filtered water from a sandstone aquifer, 100% grain to glass, with subtle spice and notes of caramel and vanilla. Come, share our dream and taste the American spirit. Find Driftless Glen at your favorite retailers and restaurants. So before I dive into how we're gonna get our bokeh, I'm gonna kind of show you guys what we're working with. Today I'm shooting for a whiskey company called Driftless, Drift, <laughs> Driftless Glen. Holy moly. And so what we're doing is we have our key light right over here and we have our aperture and then we have it on a giant octo and then we have a, a scrim as our diffusion so we're double diffusing it to make it nice and soft on the back we just have a backlight aperture mc we're just going right here and then lastly we have a nan light right here to give a little bit of an edge on the back as well this fill this colors in the bottle this gives an edge and then this is our main source of light one other thing though we wanna bring a little bit of a pop to our label. And so what we did is we took a bunch of gold paper that you can buy at a craft store and we put it onto a piece of cardboard like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up right here and it's gonna just give our label a nice beautiful pop. So as you can see, not light on and then on, it gives a nice big golden look to it right there. It just fills in the, the bottle beautifully. When using your bounce, which we are using a gold bounce right here to bring the color onto the label, you're gonna wanna play with it and angle a little bit. What's actually happening is our key light is hitting this, but it's also coming over here. It's spilling over here, hitting this and bouncing off here. So you're just trying to figure out your right angle and you can just look at the label as it, it brightens up. So I can see it right there. And then this is where we're gonna put it. We're just gonna get some gaff tape and something to stand behind it and go. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to help me out so I can keep creating awesome tutorials like this for you. Now let's dive in on how to create beautiful bokeh for your commercials. There are five important key steps to creating beautiful bokeh. Step one, make sure to separate your subject from the background as far away as possible as you can. The more distance you have between your background and your subject will create better bokeh. Step two, make sure you're using a telephoto lens. The longer the lens, the more compressed your background is gonna be. I was shooting with a 70 to 200, mostly at 200 millimeters for the entire shoot, and then also 100 millimeter macro for close-up detail shots. These lenses will compress the background, making your bokeh softer, bigger, and more flattering. Step three, bring your camera as close as you can to your subject without losing focus or cutting off the subject in an unflattering way. This again will compress the background even more, softening the bokeh even more. Step four, make sure you have some sort of objects in your background to create this bokeh. Typically, you want something that is a different color, they're defined shapes, and they're at different distances and multiple of them to create beautiful bokeh. You do not wanna use one flat color to create bokeh, otherwise you will not get that. You need something similar to my background right now, which is multiple lights to create that bokeh look. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using string lights. And string lights are gonna create a very beautiful bokeh of these like golden orbs that are gonna be all around the bottle. It's gonna take us a little bit of time to place them. There's a few things that you wanna know when placing these. You want them as far away from your object or subject as possible because then you're, they're gonna be more out of focus. And that also lends when you have the telephoto lens. But another thing is if you're using a black acrylic surface like we are, you wanna make sure that none of these drop below it Otherwise, you're going to see the edge of the surface. You can have them above and then they will reflect onto the black acrylic surface, making them go below. But if you drop these physically below the table height, then it's going to throw it all off. So make sure that when you're doing it, you're just taking your time. And so we're just going to be putting them up against here using a C stand and it's going to be awesome. So what we're doing right now is I'm having Alex hang up the lights and I'm gonna tell him where the whole framing is and how low he can go. Cause like I said, that was a very important part of getting this to look right. So he's gonna start taping them against the backdrop. And step five, with your lens, you wanna make sure your aperture is wide open as possible. 
the wider open your aperture is, the softer and bigger the bokeh is gonna be. My rule of thumb is I never go completely open on any lens that I use. Typically, when you're going completely open on any lens with your aperture, your, L, your lens is not gonna perform as well. So I will usually be two stops up from wide open. But you're gonna have to use your judgment on what looks best for your bokeh. Because the wider open you go, this will make your subject softer and less sharp. Another trick for making your bokeh really pop is creating dramatic movements. The way I create dramatic movements in my product videos is I use a motorized Lazy Susan and a slider. I'll take my product, like the bottle, and put it on the Lazy Susan to allow it to spin. Then I'll set up my slider and I'll track with the camera by pushing in and following and keeping my subject or product in the same exact framing the whole entire time. This will make it look like the product is not moving out of frame and making our background change dramatically behind it, creating this beautiful movement of the bokeh. One thing I love to do when getting shots that are very unique, and I'm in love with the shot right now, is I like to make everything a little bit off center and kind of juxtaposition my moves and angles. So right now I have the slider tilted down like this and like this. And then what I'm doing is since this is going down like this and this, my camera is gonna be going this and this. So as this is spinning around, I'm gonna be following into it just like this. So for example, I'll show you guys right now. It's gonna be all in the rule of thirds on the right side. I have the focus set on single point autofocus and we're just gonna turn this on like that. Oops, wrong way. And go like that. And then right when the timing is ready, I'm gonna go like this. Award-winning whiskey is made. For our slow motion shots, I used my Ursa Pro G2 and we shot at 300 frames to get beautiful pouring shots. The problem that we ran into is our string lights are really cheap and they're not built for high frame rates, which was causing flickers on the screen. We're getting bright lights like this flashing and we're getting bars going across the screen, which is not conducive to the look that I wanted and looks terrible. So the way that I fixed that was I took an Aperture MC light like this and some gaff tape and then taped a circle so it looked like this. Then we taped these on the background and these lights wouldn't cause any flickers when we were shooting slow motion. The reason why I didn't use these for all the shots is because I only have four and that's not gonna create that environment that I wanted. But for something for the slow motion like this, we are close enough that we can trick and make it look like it was still the same background. All right guys, that is it for creating beautiful bokeh in your commercials. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, this is only the tip of the iceberg when learning about product videos. If you haven't checked out my product video course, I promise you, you will not be let down. You can learn so much and really up-level your skills in product filmmaking. If you wanna check out my product video course, the link to the product video course is in the bio below, and you can be making money from home, like me, creating this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this technique. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time. In Wisconsin, at the edge of the Driftless area, award-winning whiskey is made. Handcrafted, small batch bourbon, using naturally filtered water from a sandstone aquifer. 100% grain to glass, with subtle spice and notes of caramel and vanilla. Come, share our dream, and taste the American spirit. Find Driftless Glen at your favorite retailers and restaurants. Not even watching. Paul Walker, this All right, ready?